Hey guys, thanks for tuning in for another video. Today I will be using a headband wig. I know y'all are like, what the hell is a headband wig? Stay tuned and I'll get into the details. All right, so this is what the headband wig looks like. Now for those of you who are experienced with wigs, this probably reminds you of a half wig. Um, so what my first wig has done is they have sewn a headband onto a wig and also added um, Velcro straps in the back to secure this wig. down. Okay, this wig does come with four combs, two combs on the side, one comb in the back, and one comb on the crown. And this is what the wig looks like in the inside. A little bit of stretch, but not a whole lot. So I'm just going to connect the straps just to give me an idea of what this wig looks like. And I gotta be very honest, I am so confused and I am very worried. This type of wig is completely different from the normal wig, like the lace front wigs or whatnot. All right, so now that we got the specs out the way, let's go ahead and put this wig on. My first impression is, oh my God, my head is way too big. Um, but no, you just have to pull the wig or the headband down a little bit um, just to get the wig properly on your head. So I want you guys to see exactly how I connect these straps. So I just take both ends of the strap, which is the headband, and I just simply, oh girl, excuse the back of my head, please, honey. My braids have not been done in months because of Corona virus but anyways as you can see it's very simple just connect the straps and your wig is secured so now that I have the wig on I really have a better understanding of what type of wig this is and the purpose behind this wig this is supposed to be one of those wigs where you can pretty much put it on and go and you know just a lazy day type of look with the traditional lace front wigs you can't really put those on and go without looking crazy you know um, now with this wig wig it does not have any type of lace so you're not going to be able to part the hair to make it look natural at all it is simply like a pushback type of wig like a half wig situation so yeah i'm going to quickly add some heat to this yakky texture um just because like this is not supposed to be one of those wigs where it has to be perfect it's just like a throw on and go type of situation so i'm going to straighten the hair and i'll be back So while I am straightening my hair, I did notice that my first wig has improved the thickness of their hair, which I'm always here for. And while I am combing my hair, I noticed not a single strand was in my comb. So, you know, that's a plus. Child, look at this headband. Y'all, <laughs> this video is gonna be a trip, but I'm gonna finesse the hell out of this wig. So, um, okay, so what you need to do, this really takes me back to like the early 2000s when I used to wear half wigs. So, if you got fuller edges, you know, a little bit more thicker edges than your girl, this wig will be perfect, but my edges are on the thin side, always have been and probably always will be. So, I'm just using some edge control and just pushing it back now mind you my braids are about four months old so my um hairline looks real crazy and i'm not really trying to push all that new growth back but that's a whole nother video okay Now, because this wig is so plain, if you want to jazz up this wig a little bit, you can add like your own headband. Um, I just added my leopard print because you guys know I love me a leopard print. Um, and then I am going to add some layers to this wig just to give it a little bit of something, honey, because it's just too flat for me. But I love the concept. This is one way that you can style your headband wig and it's actually pretty cute. I am not mad at this new type of wig. So let's move on to style number two. For style number two, I am gonna be doing a high bun with two pieces coming down on the side just to kind of take away from like the swollenness in my face because my face is so big right now because <laughs> of quarantine and so I just got to do something um, but anyways um, so I'm going to put my hair in a ponytail first and this is like my first attempt because I'm just really trying to see if I like this whole look to begin with So I 
I didn't like how my bun was looking in the last clip and I felt like my bun could fall and I didn't feel like the wig was secured at all. So to secure my wig down and to make sure my ponytail and my bun is perfect, I'm going to actually use a scarf to tie this wig down just to make sure nothing moves and I can get everything tight and neat the way I want it. that ponytail is cute I'm gonna have to recreate that look so I'm doing a lot of throwbacks in this video I'm gonna be using a donut to get the perfect bun for this wig now I did use three socks to get my donut to be this thick and full simply because I want my bun to be full and I want it to sit high on my head so I'm going to use that to shape my bun and then I'm also going to just secure it down with using some bobby pins and then I'm going to fluff out the bun by just pulling it apart until I get my desired look. With this look I am going to be using a scarf and tying it in the front and the reason why I'm using a scarf is because my bun is heavy because I wanted my bun to be fuller so I had to use like three socks to get this bun to be like this so that's why I'm using this headband instead it is a Louis Vuitton um, bandeau I think that's how you pronounce it uh, but anyways I just tied that in the front and then I'm just going to tuck those ends and this is going to be a look that I will be rocking with this wig as well so super cute super easy don't have to worry about any lace just a real cute hassle-free type of look I am so surprised at how much I actually love this wig. I guess the saying is true, don't knock something until you try it. I love the simple fact that this wig is hassle free. I can put this wig on and go and don't even have to worry about the lace. Don't even have to worry about if I'm looking crazy or not. And I can put this wig on around the house and look cute at the same time. Perfect wig. I hope they come out with a yakky texture because that's going to be a bomb ass wig all purchasing information on this headband wig from my first wig will be below in the description bar thanks for watching see y'all on the next video bye